In today's video, I want to go over some updates on JRPGs. A juggernaut JRPG publisher in Square Enix is going to be announcing games meant for E3 sometime in July and August, so we'll be going over that. Also, the next Legend of Heroes Trails game is already in development, and Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition gets a brand new trailer, new features, and we have a light version of the title coming as well. That game is out August 27th. Alright, first of all, Square Enix to announce games meant for E3 around July and August. Square Enix did send a question and answer from the meeting via No Investment, No Life. And notably, the question noted, normally you would announce new games at E3, but now has uh, the virus affected your plans this year? The answer was, we would normally announce new games at E3. Yes, we had planned to have a press conference as a replacement event, but we're unable to do so since some assets were not complete. We'll be announcing new titles individually as the timing permits. Several will debut around July to August. So those announcements will be coming. I imagine we'll be seeing more gameplay of Outriders. Outside shot of Final Fantasy 16. I mean, I do fully expect that that game is in development and it is coming along given that it has been a little bit since Final Fantasy 15 and yes FF7 Remake is definitely a prioritized project right now but Square Enix is a big publishing helm they've got a lot of other games in development hey it would be really cool if we got something unexpected like a Sleeping Dogs 2 I would kill for that but maybe I'm the only one that really enjoyed the game to the extent that I did however Square Enix obviously has a lot of interesting projects in the works right now we have their new project title and we have a lot of other stuff in development as well so be on the lookout for what they have to announce all right next up the le next legend of heroes trails game is already in development plus new tidbits on the legend of heroes hajimari no kisuke development of the next trails game in the legend of heroes series has already begun falcom president toshihiro kondo said during the famitsu x a game no denkeki summer 2020 live stream festival the new title will not be the legend of heroes ha hajimari no kisuke 2 and has already progressed to a certain extent and will present a new setting kondo also shared the following tidbits regarding Hajimari no Kisuke. After playing through it the other day, it took Kondo over 40 hours to complete the Legend of Heroes Hajimari no Kisuke, with, uh, even with event scene fast-forwarding enabled. Falcom will release an enhanced version of the game True Rever Corridor Dungeon called a True Rever Corridor EX sometime in the future. In addition to increasing the level cap, it will also add new side activities and rewards. The mini, uh, the mini game Magical Girl, uh, Girl Alyssa RS took relatively long to make. There are quite the number of stages in a story, that unfolds between them. It is a decent volume mini game, which according to staff, you think you're only going to play for a little bit, but then it doesn't end. Impactful dedicated motions were created for important event scenes. The full chorus version of the game's theme song is included on the Kisuke 15th Anniversary Vocal Collection CD package with uh, the limited edition. Hajimari no Kisuke is due out uh, for PlayStation 4 on August 27th in Japan. At this point, the game has not seen uh, Western localization. However, given the fact that Legend of Heroes seems to be a pretty solid franchise over here in the West. We are getting Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. We are getting uh, other Legend of Heroes titles coming over here. I know a lot of people want Cold Steel 1 and 2 on the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully sooner rather than later that does end up happening. But for now, getting the next Legend of Heroes Trails game confirmed to be in development is pretty exciting. Lastly, this is going a little bit under the radar, but Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is in fact getting a remastered version uh, with new features that have been showcased in a trailer and it has been revealed to get a light mode. Square Enix has released the new features trailer for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition, which reveals a free-to-play light version of the game due out day and date with a full release. Crystal Chronicles Remastered Light Edition will allow players to enjoy the first three dungeons of the game, take part in online crossplay in those dungeons, or join in with a player who has purchased the full game to play together in up to 13 dungeons. So actually, you got quite a bit of a benefit if you do have the light version and a buddy picks up the complete edition. That's pretty exciting. Additionally, the company will premiere a pre-recorded preparation and review special video on June 27th, which will feature game director Ryoma Areka and MC Susumu um, yeah. Imadachi, sorry I'm butchering these names, of El Elki Comments, who will introduce the games and further explain the light version, because this seems a little bit more than just a demo, we've got a little bit more than that. Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition is due out digitally for PlayStation 4, Switch, iOS, and Android on August 27th worldwide in Japan, and PlayStation 4 and Switch uh, versions will be available both physically and digitally, so that is something to be noteful of. So that's going to conclude this video. Again, as far as Square Enix updates are concerned, they are going to be games revealed separately. I guess uh, progression on all of these games are progressing at different rates and It'll be interesting to see what they ultimately announce. Final Fantasy 16, you need a big stage to announce that game. That's not a game you just wake up one morning and 
people are gonna be like, oh, Final Fantasy 16 got announced overnight? I don't think that's gonna happen. I think you need a venue. I think you need to tell people, hey, we got a big announcement at this stream, whatever the case may be. That's what you gotta do. Legend of Heroes' next game is in development. And Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition new features trailer reveals a light version. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.